at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by the security services. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Well, a very good evening everybody and welcome to the Dad Rail live stream doing the last 37 on the West Cornwall local today. We should be starting on time half past eight so we've got about five minutes to go. 
Uh, in the meantime, grab yourself a drink. Don't forget to share this stream with all the groups you may be in with your friends. See if we get a few people in tonight. You never know. Might be a bit of dancing, but no promises. Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes.
Well, hello everybody. Good evening. Welcome to another Dad Rail live stream with me, Richard. But you knew that already. Who have we got in the chat? Dave O'Connor. Evening, Dicky. I know who you are, sir. Oh, I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time than watch my streams. <laughs> Secret spotter. Stu the Desiro Man. Pig and Bob. To mention but a few, the Coventry Spotter. So we are doing the Class 37 on the West Cornwall Local this evening. Um, sorry this stream wasn't advertised very well. It was a little bit of a last minute thing because technically I'm still at work. So <laughs> I hope my boss is not watching. We've got a few uh, different things going on in the stream tonight as well. I've got a new audio set up so hopefully the microphone sounds a little bit better. Uh, I've got to sort the stand out so it's out of sight, but hopefully it's sounding a, a little bit better. But if I'm coming across a bit quiet or a bit loud, then do let me know in the chat and I shall uh, try and rectify that. Also, we have a new game to play in the stream. Locomotive, livery and location, which looks a bit like this. With fancy sound effects. Behind each window, or behind all the windows, there is a picture. Uh, during the stream, we're going to reveal sort of one window at a time and see if you can guess, guess the location, locomotive or livery. It may be a unit, it's not necessarily a locomotive, but it uh, just sounds better if I say locomotive because it, it kind of fits in. But we'll get into that a bit later on. Of course, we're in the Discord as well, as always. Live stream picture post in the Discord server. If you want to get your pictures up on there, then I will get them up on the screen. If you're not in the Discord already, link in the description below. So, without further ado, I think we are more or less ready to go. Uh, of course, as always, I have to say this. All the opinions within this video are solely my own, blah de blah de blah and all that good stuff. And if you haven't already, of course, like and subscribe. Um, I would say 50 likes and I'll do a dance, but I kind of feel we've, we've done that now. So I kind of feel like we should be aiming a little bit higher. Any, any suggestions in the chat, welcome. Right, what button have I got to press? Right, we're jumping into the game. Got new overlays and all sorts of stuff going on tonight. Okay, West Cornwall Local. I've had a little play on this, on the stream, um, but I've only had a little go on the Class 37 off screen. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see how this goes. Stu the Desiro Man, thank you very much, my friend. That is very kind of you. Uh... That should have popped up on the screen, Stu, but I've got the uh, events turned off. But thank you very much all the same. Much appreciated. Right, there we go. Class 37. Let's pick a... Drive this freight service and drop off wagons at Long Rock Motive Power Depot. Um, so these are all Class 6 services. Uh, Truro to Penzance. 6 Hotel 1 zero, 45 minutes. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one, 45 minutes. And then, uh, depending on how the stream's going, we might do another run or do a run in the 150 or have a go at something else. We'll just see how we get on. Narragage, evening, Deborah. I hope you're doing well. It was a bit of a surprise seeing you on the GBRF TikTok with Francis. Yeah, that was a very dynamic TikTok. I did overuse the word dynamic. <laughs> if you've read the comments on the TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. It was kind of completely unrehearsed. It was kind of just like, I, I didn't even know Francis was going to be in the yard until I, turned, I sort of was on my way to work and someone posted it on our Facebook group. Um, and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time and got dragged to answer some questions and uh, the rest of it is history. Right. I don't want to drive in the dark because it doesn't look great on the stream. So we'll try that again. Clark, all right, we'll go to July clear, all that good stuff. So yeah, if we do that one in July, it should be light at 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's give it another go. No, that's uh, very much appreciated, Stuart. It really is. Mega Miner was very dynamic, yeah. It definitely was. There we go. So, what are we doing? Service is scheduled to start 7.18. Carriage reception, West 1. Uncouple free vehicles. Stop at location, Penzance Line 1. Carriage, blah, blah, blah. So there's a little bit of shunting to do on this. I've not done much shunting in Trains in World, so uh, you're probably going to have to tell me what buttons to press. Dave, thank you very much. Awesome. We are doing really well today. Really appreciate it, Dave. I'm not sure why that didn't pop up on the screen. It should be 
uh, popping up on the screen because I've been programming some new special effects and stuff. But uh, yeah, not sure what's going on with that. Or maybe it did pop up on the screen, but I haven't got the sound turned on. <laughs> Let's try again. Right, I don't tend to have much luck with the 37. I did try and get it going a little while ago, but... Um, yeah, it, it was interesting. Okay, so let's get the key in. And then into engine only. So... Signal is on. I'm assuming that's our signal down the end there. Uh... I'm going to put full loco brake on and try and release the train brake if I can. So I'll get this thing moving and then hopefully I can answer some of your questions. Yeah, the brakes have come straight off, which is wicked. They didn't want to do that for me last time. So let's have a little look around on the outside. What have we got? Uh, we got a nice short train, just three wagons. Uh, Mega Minor 10, can anyone inform me which is better, Train Sim Classic or Train Sim World? Looking to drive suburban routes in London and the South. Uh, I'll let the chat answer that one for you. Uh, Zaldi Smogglers, just to let you know, you can couple and uncouple wagons that have manual couplings using the exterior camera. Good to know. I'm sure we're going to find out how to do that uh, when we get further down the line. So, right, yeah, the signal's dropped, so that was our signal. Um, got the 150 going past there. Into forward. Uh, let's take straight air brake off and give it some power. And hopefully, this is going to go the right way. DJCWE2402. I've watched a few streams from various Trains and World contributors. Dadrail has the best insight into real world operations. Thank you very much. Uh, not necessarily on 37s and the West Cornwall, but uh, on the bits and bobs I know, then I can certainly help with that. Right, so what's our speed limit? We can go a little bit faster. Do let me know about the sounds, guys. If you want the game volume up or you want the mic volume up, just let me know and uh, I will adjust all that. Stu the Zyra Man, do you think we should do a full nationalisation back to BR? Um, I believe that's pretty much happening now, isn't it, with the uh, GB Rail scheme that they've got going on. I think that's kind of like British Rail in disguise. Yeah, the, the stepped banner, I mean, this is modelled in the 90s, I think. The stepped banner there looks a little bit, possibly a little bit out of place. I don't know if they were a later edition or... Or not. Hi there, bud. I think I saw you on the Mountful Siding trains last Saturday on the rails at Byfleet Newhall. That would have been me. I was on that train last weekend. Yep, yeah, game volume could be a little louder, Mega Minor. Let's see if I can sort that out without uh, breaking everything. How's that, Mega Miner? Let me know if you want a little bit more. I'll give it a little bit more. <coughs> right, let's get this train going. Let's stop talking and get the train going. Oh, that does sound nice. Uh, Liam Wilson, nice to see you in one of Francis's posts the other day. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Liam. He's um, he's a really nice sort of level-headed guy, actually. I'm sure you know his real name's not Francis. but um, Yeah, he's, he's a really nice sort of level-headed chap. Um, not like he is in his videos at all. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a persona he puts on in his videos, I believe. Right, so... It depends on your individual company driving policy, but in my company, uh, once you've reached a speed of above 30 miles an hour, you can do what's called a running brake test, um, which is where we want to reduce the train speed by 10 miles an hour. So we're just checking that the brakes are working. Hashtag clag rail. Yeah, we'll power up in a minute and get an outside view, see if we get some clag. 
So yeah, that depends on your individual company's operating instructions. But my company is once you reach 30 miles an hour, you should reduce the train speed by uh, 10 miles an hour. Oh, a little bit of clag. Beautiful. Everyone loves 37 flat, flat, uh, fratch. Indeed they do, indeed they do. Daniel, hi Dabra, it's my birthday in eight days. I love the Class 37, it's a beautiful locomotive. I've been lucky enough to um, route conduct on a couple of Class 37s. I've never had the, the pleasure of driving one, um, but I have route conducted on a 37 a couple of times. They are, I think if you're interested in, in trains and you've got, sort of from an enthusiast point of view, they're really nice. From a driver's point of view, after a long shift, they're uncomfortable, noisy, cold and loud. But, uh, yeah, we <laughs> don't want to ruin the illusion. I still like them, though. Right, so we are good for 60. So if you do like your 37s, and you haven't already, at Dad Rail Official on TikTok, we had the uh, 37 snowplows leaving Tunbridge today. Uh, two 37s on the yeah, concrete bob. I can't remember what number they are. I'm really bad with numbers, I'm afraid. Um, but two class 37s on there today. Uh, that is over on my TikTok page if you haven't seen that already. I've actually got two videos of them. I've got videos of them leaving the videos of them coming back. Southern Freight Spotter, good evening. So I'm just going through the chat trying not to uh, miss anyone. Oh, audio sounds great. Nationwide, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, the weird dude. The scenario set in the past. I believe this is modelled in the 90s, but someone in the... I'm sure someone in the chat will correct me on that. Uh, Joshua, with GBR, who will own the rolling stock? Uh, not entirely sure on that, to be completely honest with you. I should imagine it still be the uh, rolling stock leasing companies. Uh, there's just too much money involved in the railway with rolling stock leasing companies. Most of them are owned by banks and investment companies, and it's uh, there's a lot of money involved. DJ Way twenty four oh two found your advice on the class three seven seven brake hold button for pullaways uh, from stops on a gradient. Mega minor ten sounds great. I think I've already done that one. <laughs> Stew the desire, man, but I mean the government running the trains. GBR is going to operate like TFL round, TF Manchester. Local governments as such run certain things, but private companies <coughs> still operate the trains. Yeah, I think they're going to be more on a management contract, though, rather than a franchise basis, from what I understand of it. So they'll be a bit like, um, I think GTR at the moment um, is run on a, on a management basis rather than a franchise. So you, you kind of, it's almost like you're privatising the profit, but the risk is still public, if you know what I mean. But don't want to get too political. Uh, George, no, I've not been down the fall, uh, uh, Fawley line, Fowley line to Marchwood. I signed down as far as the Western Docks at Southampton, but I don't sign any further down than that. Right, let's get a bit of braking. We are lo we are gaining speed downhill. Yeah, GB Freight Spotter. Are you able to say which Tox slash Fox you have operated for? Yeah, I used to work for South Eastern, um, and I now work for a freight company. Um, well, your username's got part of it in it. Everyone knows who it is. Right, so we're going uphill again. So while that's chugging along quite nicely, let's have a go um, of locomotive locomotive livery location. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to post in the chat a number between 1 and 16. The first number that comes up will be the first number that I reveal on the board. I'm asking you before I put it up because there's a massive delay on the chat. First number that comes up between 1 and 16 is what I will reveal on the board.
Seven is the first number up. Right, we're going with seven. Let's press seven. There we go. So I want to know the locomotive, the livery, and the location. And I think I've probably made these way too easy. Locomotive, livery, location. We've done number seven. Any ideas from that, guys? Discuss it in the chat. I think, I think I've made these way too easy. She's she's thrashing away this 37. The sounds are really nice on this. I wonder if um, I wonder if Armstrong Powerhouse done the uh, sounds for this because they are really nice. <laughs> I told you I've made this. I've made this far too easy. To be fair, the, the picture that I've chosen for that one, you can't actually get the location from it. So. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've made this far too easy. I'm going to I'm gonna have to try harder next time. But I have to declare. Yeah, it's class class 73 GB livery. Uh, you, can't, you can get the location. There's a reflection in the window on the right. Um. It's somewhere on the southern region. <laughs> I know that much. That was far too easy. Far too easy. Let's reset that and get back to the game. Uh, no, it wasn't Tunbridge West Yard. It was out somewhere on track, but I can't remember where. Southampton Train Spot. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm going to have to try a bit harder with these ones. I've got, uh, there's two games lined up. So we've got that one and there's, a, there's another picture as well. Also, we'll have a quick look in the Discord server, see what's going on over there. Lots of Mersey Rail units and some 69s as well. If you want to post your stuff, as always, live stream pictures page in the Discord server, and you'll find the link for that in the description below. Yeah, definitely, Stu. Well done to those who got it right. It was far too easy. Hopefully, the, hopefully the next one's going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try harder. I think I might have made the squares a bit too big as well, but I had to program each one individually to work off my uh, Stream Deck software so I can sort of choose which one to reveal. And it took me about four hours to program 16. I wanted to do 32, but I was just... <laughs> this would have taken ages. How's Mrs. Evans and the kids? Are they all good, Richard? No, they're all horrible. Ah, there's a 40. Get some break in, boy. Have the first D round on the Debra stream. Yeah, no, they're all good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I've got I've got to start paying more attention to my driving and less attention to the stream. I say that every time, but yeah, CP trains. I saw um, on the Discord that you said you'd miss that. Yeah, it was a nice sight leaving uh, leaving Tunbridge West Yard, most definitely. Yeah, Southampton train spot, go for it. You're more than welcome to upload that. Dad derail. Yeah, that's it's going to happen at some point, guys. It's going to happen. All right, where are we going? We've got another 14 miles. So I'd like to tell you a few facts about the Class 37, but I don't know any. <laughs> That's a bit of an anti-climax, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm not too clued up on the... Well, we haven't got any headlights on, so that's a, that's a bad start. Let's deal with that now. Uh, there's got to be a switch somewhere for headlights. Slow speed switch. Oh, they're up here, aren't they? Um... Tail light, tail light, cab lights, instrument lights, interior lights, route indicator. 
So which one's me headlights then? No idea. Oh, we got marker lights. We'll go with that. Right, we're speeding again. Let's get some braking. CP trades. Last few nights I've heard six Yankee eight two been bowled by four six fives. Yeah, that's so annoying. Lawrence Adams, hello, welcome to the stream. So guys, just to let you know as well, I'm sure you've heard that Dovetail Games have got the uh, Festival of Rail event going on uh, this weekend. And I have been penciled in to take part in that. Um, 10 o'clock on Saturday is my slot on the uh, London commuter route. It is a pre-record, so there'll be no live chat on it, unfortunately. Um, but it's interesting. Should we release the brakes? That helps. Um, it's interesting. I managed to trigger the DSD twice en route. So, the kind of doing a video like that, uh, a train sim video, and not having the chat, there's kind of nothing to feed back on. So, it's really quite difficult uh, when you're making a video like that to commentate on it because you haven't got the chat, you've got nobody asking questions, you've got no feedback. So, yeah, it can be can be a little bit more challenging doing those. But yeah, ten o'clock on Saturday night is my uh, my slot on the um, Dovetail Games Festival of Rail event. CP trains. My FPS on Tracing World Two is more of a joke than a circus. Um, uh, sixty FPS for me at the moment on this downhill letter coast. Paying attention to me driving. Lawrence, I saw the video you did with Jeff Marshall the other day. Yeah, he's uh, he's an interesting fella. Yeah, I, I arranged for Jeff and Vicky to have a cab ride from um, Hastings to Tunbridge when they were doing the All the Stations route and uh, consequently got interviewed as well, um, which I'm assuming is the video you saw. Uh, South East Train Spotter. I used to drive network as a shunt driver. I used to prefer the um, Brails over the Metcams. I just used to like the way they sounded before they were. Um, I think they were remoted by Hitachi a few years ago. But when they were the original Braille motors, I just thought they sounded a lot better. I've got me AWS isolated as well. Stu the Desiro man, in your vlog you said drivers don't speed on the railway. Are you putting pay to that theory? <laughs> yeah, definitely, Stu. Is it is it drivers don't speed or drivers don't get caught speeding? <laughs> Let's hope you don't hit any trees. Yeah, that was um That was fun, Lawrence. That was not a good day. Although, to be fair, I did get out of my second trip to London. I was doing two Londons that day, and I only ended up doing one because I hit the tree. So, every cloud. Okay, so CP Trains has just informed me London commuter route is 75% off at the moment. If you haven't got that route, uh, with 75% off, that is a great opportunity to go and get it. It really is a good route. Has anyone got the, um, and I'm going to muck this pronunciation up, the Turan the Rampa route, the new um, commits to Dresden with the tilting train? Really, really enjoying that route. I don't normally do um, forum content, but I'm really enjoying that route. It's, uh, it's a really challenging drive. Really nice scenery as well. There is our 50. Yeah, on, on Southampton train spot, you're saying about Francis. Um, when we were walking around Tunbridge Yard with him, he was with the uh, social media guy from my company. So they were kind of telling him what he couldn't, couldn't film and stuff like that. But from what I understand of it, the video that was put out with Francis was put out by GB Rail Freight. 
Um, but I believe Francis is going to make his own TikTok as well that I'm going to be in. Um, he got in a class 69 and started the engine and blew the horn and done all his excited faces and stuff like that. So I believe that's going to be on his TikTok page rather than the GB one. So, uh, yeah, watch, watch that space. Yes, yeah, another challenging route, this one with the gradients as well. Like I say, I've not really driven this one too much, but uh, it is another very good route. So if you're not already, guys, then I am on TikTok. I'm pushing that. Um, trying to get to 400 followers by the end of the day. I don't know where I'm at with that at the moment, but TikTok, Dad Rail Official. Someone had already nicked the name Dad Rail, so I had to go Dad Rail Official. And I also, this is a stream exclusive. I feel like we should go to full camera mode for this. I am now on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram at Dad Rail Official. I think I have like two followers at the moment because I haven't publicly told anyone until now. I have one post of a picture, which happens to be 37s with snowplows. Um, but yeah, if you are on Instagram, at DadRailOfficial, you could be one of the first people to follow uh, what will hopefully be a growing feed, story, news. I'm not sure what you call them on Instagram. Yeah, CP Trains, I would have I would have loved a shout-out. A shout-out on one of Francis's videos has got to be, you know, that's gold. It was quite interesting in the uh, comments section, though, on TikTok that the comments were sort of like, isn't that Dad Rail? You know, Francis and Dad Rail. Dad Rail someone said Dad Rail is better than Francis, which I'm not too sure about, but it was quite it was quite good in the comment section that everyone seemed to know who I was. Incidentally, when I turned up at the yard, Francis knew who I was, which was interesting. It's in my videos before as well, so it's quite possible that he's a subscriber. Miles Price, hi, I love your videos. Thank you, Miles. DC Train Spotting, third follower on Instagram. I so said I've not not publicly told anyone about that until now, so uh, I'm a bit of a bit of an old fogey. I'm still learning how to use it all. Right, we got a 45 coming up. I'm going to try my hardest not to speed. Southern Freight Spot, UK. I was six. Oh, look, we get everyone's on Instagram. Look, my phone's my phone is now going mad, telling me I've got Instagram followers. It's not focusing in on that very well. The lights are a bit bright. Your local Asbo collector. Hello. What a completely and utterly awesome name that is. <laughs> Benjamin the Hamster. Hi. Miles, that is a good question. Is being a train driver for passengers fun? What I'd say about driving it, I enjoy driving trains, uh, passenger freight. Whether you could say it's fun or not is, I, I don't know if you if you could say it's fun. I enjoy doing it. Certainly the first couple of times you do it, it's fun, it's interesting, it's new. But when you're doing it um, sort of day in, day out, it can become quite repetitive and the novelty does wear off quite quick. But saying that, it's, I mean, I still enjoy doing it. I must remember to get my mouse out the screen as well. I've always got my mouse in the middle of the screen. Southern Freight Spotter, what is the latest you have ever been on a service? Um, I don't know, to be perfectly honest with you. Lovely flyby shot. Nice little free wagon freight train. Beautiful. Old lady plays. Hello. Welcome to another stream. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, I am hoping, not hoping, I can tell you now, there will be another stream on Saturday evening. Uh, at 8.30, the usual time. And that one will only be 8.30 until 9.30. And at 9.30 slash 9.45, uh, there will be a Patreon-only 
um, supporter stream, which is one of the benefits that my Patreon supporters get. Uh, is a an exclusive Patreon only live stream that will be at nine thirty on Saturday. Um, if you are a Patreon of mine already, then I'll be sending the link out for that uh, probably tomorrow morning. And if you want to know more about being a Patreon of mine, it's on the screen now. Good question, George. How much route knowledge do freight drivers need, seeing as they go all over the place? Um, the freight, as even as a freight driver, you will only travel over routes that you actually sign, George. So, although you do go to a lot more place, places than passenger drivers, you still need to have route knowledge of those places. Does cancel count as permanent late? Sam, hello and happy birthday. I feel like we should... Um... Oh, God. I'm not going to sing in the stream. I've done dancing. It is Sam's birthday. Happy birthday to you. You're only getting one verse because someone will record it. Sam is 21 today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a happy birthday, Sam, in the chat. And of course, Sam is one of our uh, diary contributors as well on Discord. If you're not on the Discord server already, pushing that again, link in the description below. We've got a diary section where we have several members of Railway staff posting um, pictures and details of their daily life and stuff like that. So uh, Sam is one of our contributors who is very active and does post some really interesting stuff. CP Trains, is there certain places you prefer to drive to? Uh, yes, home. <laughs> Home at the end of a, a long shift. No, there are some routes you do prefer driving, um, definitely. One of my favourite routes is probably the Brighton Main Line. I do, I do enjoy a nice run down the Brighton Main Line. Uh, Seaford Branch as well on the East Coastway is really nice. Ashford to Hastings is a nice bit of route. Well, there's some other bits of route that, you, that you, I just completely hate driving along. Um... Tunbridge to Ashford, for example, that is it's just, uh, and even Tunbridge to Redhill, those bits of route, they're just straight and long and boring and, yeah. Right, we've got a 50 coming up in a mile. We're on a downhill gradient, so I'm just going to shut the power back and let her roll. <coughs> Loads of love for Sam in the chat, look at that. Joshua and Miles asking the same question there. We have got one yellow as well, so let's get some break in. My favourite type of loco to drive is the uh, Class 73. I'm not sure if it's a Dash 1 or a Dash 9, though, to be fair. I, I enjoyed driving both of them for different reasons. CP Trends, is there a certain bit of track slash signals that you always get trouble from? Um, not particularly, no. No, not, not that I can sort of particularly... Uh, well, that come up quick. Right, we've got the dummy, fortunately. So the two white lights there, uh, I'm sure you know already, tells us we're going in either permissive working or we're going into a yard or a siding. So the two white lights as a driver tell me, proceed as far as the line is clear, preparing to stop short of any obstructions and obeying all other signals. Uh, it's just as well we did, otherwise that would have been spad rail. So here's where we get to do some shunting, and I get to admit that I haven't got a clue how all the controls on this game work, but we'll give it a go. So yards or sidings are typically uh, five miles an hour, unless local instructions dictate otherwise. It's telling me, yeah, there's a five coming up there, look, in the, on the heads-up display. Reception roads, as we're going into now, are normally uh, 10, 15, but yards and sidings would normally be five. You'd also switch over to marker lights only when you go into a yard or siding, so you don't um, dazzle anyone that might be on the ground. Jasper, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Miles Price, have you ever had a spad? 
Oh, I've never had a category A spad. Touch wood. Um, there's a stop board there. Look. Service failure. Signal pass at danger. Ah! <laughs> oh. Yeah, spad rail. We've done it. Spad rail. I did not see the stop board on the left. Um... I suppose that really highlights the importance of route knowledge as well. Even in yards and sidings, I've gone straight past the stop board uh, and caused a spad. If you go past the stop board without authority, it is classed as a spad. Um, not knowing the route, I had no idea the stop board was there until it was too late because I wasn't looking out for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Classic, uh, no route knowledge and I had a spad. Which is really bad. I was, I was quite enjoying that. Right, anyway, first person to post a number between 1 and 16 in the chat gets that window revealed on game two of Locomotive, Location and Livery. And you can get all three on this picture. I know it's gone quiet. It's because the stream is literally like 30 seconds behind. You're... So I'm kind of waiting for the chat to catch up. <laughs> Jasper, if you have a Class A spad... Um, that's not necessarily bye-bye job. It depends on the circumstances surrounding it. Right, we are going for number five. Uh, I can't read your username. Everyone's sending me numbers. We're going for number five. This one, hopefully, might be a bit more challenging. Let's press number five. I think I've still made this too easy. I think I've made this too easy. Have a good look, guys. Tell me what you think. No, I pressed the wrong button now. <laughs> I told you this is all new. I've got new toys to play with, and I still haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. Right, number five is what we were on. There we go. Yee. Have we got the location from that one? I don't think we got the location. You can get the location from that. 800 GWR Reading, 800 GWR Dawlish. Oh, I think I think we've we've got we've got. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to reveal it yet. I think someone may have got it in the chat there, but I'm not going to reveal it. We'll we'll play on for a bit longer. Should we do Should we do a 150 run, guys, or should we do a different route after that complete and utter disaster? We can do a 150 run or. Um, I only want to stream for about another 45 minutes, so I don't want to do anything too long. We can do another 150 run, or we can switch route. Uh, let me know what you guys fancy doing in the chat. We've got selection of routes. Just let me, just let me know what you guys fancy doing in the chat, and we'll uh, jump into that. Yeah, really, really highlighting the... Uh, Zale D says 150. 150. Oh, I think everyone... Yeah, that's two for 150. We'll go with 150. As it says West Cornwall Local in the thumbnail, we'll go with 150. We'll go in the summer because I like driving in the summer. Miles Price, Amtrak. Okay, that's... Uh, I don't even think I've had a play with the Amtrak one, sort of even off stream. So that is certainly one we can do in a future stream. Uh, Thirty-nine minutes on that one. Two Charlie Five, two Penzance to Truro. Uh, 17 minutes in ice. No, Penzance to Truro. Let's give that one a go. We'll give that one a go. Southampton train spotter. Do you enjoy driving along the Southwestern Main Line and Staines Line? Um, I don't mind doing that route now and again. For us, from South from Tunbridge down to Southampton, it's a really long job. I don't mind the route, um, but the job can be a bit long and tedious. So, uh, yeah. Right. Let's see if we can do this right. Okay. Key in. Into on or neutral. 
Right, let's get some lights on the go. We are at a red signal. No, we're at a green signal now, so that's okay. Um, marker lights on. Destination indicator. Have we not got a, a headlight? There we go. Left or right. So day running would be the uh, right-hand side. I believe is what we've got on already. No, nope, we've got nothing. What is going on? It doesn't like that at all, does it? Right, that's the marker lights. Okay, they are on. Right, there we go. Unlock doors. Liddell sisters, hello. Welcome to the stream. We are going from... Penzance to Truro, calling at St. Earth. Hail. Camborne. Red Roof. Truro. Uh, that's it. Yeah, Benjamin, I do like the uh, the West Coast one. I do the West Cornwall local. I do like it. It is a nice route. No, we've already got the engine started. What am I doing? I thought that was a closed doors button. There isn't a closed doors button on this, is it? That's right. We've got to do it through that. Um, and there is... I think this train is a little bit buggy as well. I think I've had issues with this train before. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So, let's get the brakes off. Green signal. Into forward. And let's take some power. And fingers crossed, we are moving. Miles Price, one more question. On some trains, there is a three-step check and regen brake. What is that? Okay, so three-step check, Miles, is... Um, I think you're probably referring to the 375 on the southeastern high speed that has those labels on it. Uh, the idea behind it was to prevent stop shorts and wrong side door releases. So that is where you've got, say, an eight-car train and you stop on the four-car mark. Uh, then you release the doors with trains off the end of the platform. And the idea of the three-step check was... Stop. Um, it's basically it is three steps. So you stop your train in the in on the platform. You check the formation of your train, how many coaches it's got. You check your position on the platform, and you check what side the platform's on before you open your door. So you do those three steps. Um, you do those three steps before you open the door. So it's the three step check. The was it the dynamic brake you were asking about? Just trying to find the uh, regen brake. <coughs> yes, yeah, so the regen brake is part of the dynamic braking system so basically if you drive a manual car and you change down a gear um, the engine then slows the car down or well, the uh, dynamic braking regen braking is the same sort of principle so the brakes come on instead of using air it basically turns the motors into generators which creates a resistance field and then with uh, regenerative braking that power is put back into the grid I think rheostatic power uh, that power is then burnt off as heat I believe that's correct. <laughs> it's a long time since I've driven a, a an electric train, but I'm sure if Sam's still in the chat, he'll uh, elaborate a bit more on that. Yeah, George, I don't think GB do go down the uh, eastern docks at Southampton, but don't quote me on that. Right, let's get some power in. Have we got an instruments light switch? We have. Right, let's have a quick look in the Discord, see what you guys have been posting in there this evening. We've got no more posts in the Discord, or is it a case of that I haven't scrolled down in the Discord? Let's have a little look. That's me because I've not scrolled to the bottom. There we go. Fantastic. So lots of freight. That looks like uh, Southampton Maritime Terminal at the top left there. Class 20s, Class 70s, Class 66s. Loads of freight. If you're not already, guys, then there is a link to the Discord server in the description below.
Right, we are good for 75. We've got 4.2 miles to our first station. So, as there's nothing going on here, guys, let's have another go at location, livery, and locomotive. It might be that order. It might be a different order. I can't remember. Post a number between 1 and 16 in the chat. First one that comes up will be the board that I remove. And let's have another go. I'm certainly going to have to make these harder, though. Definitely going to have to make them harder. Okay, we've got 11. That's the first number that's come up on my screen. Let's play. Locomotive, location, livery. Revealing box number 11. Oh. What do we got, guys? Has that helped? Everyone's going GWR, but could that be... Could that be a 395? Could that be a 395 of kind of a an off-white balance on the camera? Is that possible? What do you reckon? I mean, it is possible, but... Yeah, nothing to apologise for, ZLD. ZLD. GWR, IET, Dawlish, Johnny Simulator Gaming is saying. IET, it's not a 395. Yeah, but it could be It could be bad white balance on the camera. <laughs> or am I trying to throw you off? It's that 800 again. <laughs> oh, two, I'll tell you what, we'll stop at St. Earth and then we'll reveal another one. I think I think everyone's got the uh, everyone's got the GWR 800. Well, everyone thinks it's a GWR 800. There's not much there, not much there to go on for location though. You have to you have to try and get a bit of location out of it. Jasper Herridge, seeing the train spotting Discord is making me sad. I'm at Loughborough Uni and the tornado is at the GCR in town, but they've stopped running it there the day before I got back after Christmas. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's uh, that's harsh. Right, where are we? 1.3 miles out the station. Still got a little way to go. If you haven't already, guys, do please hit that like button and also consider subscribing to Dad Rail for more, more spads, more derailments, more station overruns. And I call myself a professional. <laughs> oh. More singing happy birthday as well. GWR 800 in the Thames Valley. I will uh, I will put it out there. Someone has already got it right. That's narrowed it down a bit. Richard, please give me a shout out. Ian, you have a shout out. And we're going to have a station overrun because I'm reading the chat and not driving. <laughs> Let's get some braking. Uh, we should be all right. I'm not very good at this train driving malarkey. Okay, guys, as we're approaching the station, give me a number between 1 and 16 that we haven't already picked. ZLD, ZLD, Smogless. You're not allowed to choose. First number that comes up will be the one I reveal. Let's see if we can get this game finished up.
Right, this is where the game crashed on me last time, so fingers crossed that's not going to happen. Nine! Joshua Ritchie's the first one in. Number nine. We will reveal number nine. We'll stop at the station. Almost a perfect stop. Unlock the left-hand doors and play location, locomotive, and livery. And we are letting box number nine go. Let's find number nine on my panel. Just there. Yeah, come on, God. We need some of these outside one guys, for location. Oh, I never get first. GWR 800 Reading. Other than the reflection in the windows, not much to go on for location there, guys. Not much to go on. We shall come back to that in a few minutes' time. We're off to Hail Platform 2, which is in 1.5 miles. So in 1.5 miles, we'll do it again. Right, 45 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Elizabeth, what have you missed? You have missed spad rail. <laughs> uh, we went past the stop board, had a spad in a 37. We're playing a game called Locomotive Location Livery, uh, which you'll see on the screen in a few minutes. And we are now in the 150 on the West Cornwall local approaching Hale. In regional railways. Incidentally, the 37 I saw today was in regional railways. Which is on my TikTok, if you haven't already. Oh, I saw someone write 9 and then retract it. 41 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. And also consider subscribing to Dad Rail. Right, 45 coming up. Uh, I was under 37, Ian, before the spad. Uh, we went, I well, I say we. I went past the stop board uh, in the yard because I didn't know it was there. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of highlighting the importance of route knowledge and sort of paying attention to what you're doing and not looking at the chat. Southern Freight Spot or UK, what's your favourite GBRF 66, Richard? I'm actually going to, um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't got a favourite GBRF 66 at all. They all look nice and different on the outside, the celebrity ones, but they're all exactly the same on the inside to drive, so... I don't, I don't think I've got a favourite as such. I quite like uh, 789, the BR Large Logo one. And I quite like um, 793, 794 as well. I think they've got nice liveries on them. But I, I don't think I've got a favourite as such. Right, Southern Freight Spot, you're a little bit early there. Okay, post your numbers between one and... I was going to walk across. Post your numbers now. Next person to post a number in the chat between one and 16 gets their window revealed. That was almost a perfect stop. 16, Pig and Bob is the first one in with 16. Let's play. Locomotive, location, livery. Revealing box number 16. Oh! <laughs> there we go, guys. Have a good look at that. Have a good look at that. What are we thinking? You can, you can definitely get the location from this picture. You can most definitely get the location from, from this picture. Behind one of the boxes, there is a, a big giveaway as to the location. We shall come back to that in a few minutes' time. What is going on in the Discord? Ah, smashed windows on the Southwestern Railway. And buses. Do we allow buses? We do allow buses. We allow, especially if you're in the Discord, we allow all different forms of transport in there. Let's get back to the game because for some reason um, I can't get the train started. Release the brake.
There we go. Power notch seven. Off we go. George looks like the sea wall. Class eight hundred Dawlish what? Oh, we're definitely we're definitely all angling towards Dawlish there. I think what I might do for um, the future one, guys, because it's something I'd like to keep up. I need to make them a bit more challenging. That's that's for sure. But I think I might um, get you guys to like kind of send stuff in. So I might kind of like hashtag Dad Rail Stream or something like that. Um, on any of the social media channels, and I can just kind of pick them up and drop them in. So, yeah, I might, we might go down that route, make it a little bit more challenging. Um, I think what I've picked is obviously far too easy. So, 5.4 miles to Camborne, uh, and we will reveal one more window. Just give everyone a chance. That is good detective work, though, from, from those few images you've got. And we will uh, we'll do we'll do one more reveal, and then we'll probably probably show the whole image. Daniel thinks it's Reading. Could it be Reading? Could it be Reading? So yeah, just trying to kind of come up with some ideas to add a bit more interest and excitement to the streams if you like um you know just kind of listening to me rabbit on driving trains i can imagine that becomes a bit tedious so i <laughs> just yeah you know how can we kind of shake it up a little bit you know add some extra elements to it make it make it a little bit more interesting that, that was kind of my thinking behind the game do a choo choo ah choo choo I have I have no shame. <laughs> Mini Wistatston Junction, the Angel of Crew. Evening, welcome to the stream. Believe you are a. Um, I don't think I've seen you in the stream before. So hello, welcome to Dad Rail. Dorset and Hampshire Transport. If you had a choice to build a new freight terminal or depot, where would it be? Um, I would open a GB Rail Freight depot in Cornwall. Because I would like to move to Cornwall. And GB Rail Freight don't have any freight depots down there for me to transfer into. But I've got a funny feeling if, if GB Rail Freight did open a freight terminal in Cornwall. Then there would be rather a long queue. As lots of people would like to move there. Yeah, so I asked earlier, guys, about the uh, Taranda Rampa German route. What does every... If you've got that, what do you think about it? Did anyone catch my um, videos on it? What uh, What do you make of that route? And also, because I like to know, does the new microphone sound okay? I'm hoping it does because uh, Mum Rails had to go without getting her hair and nails done so I could buy it. So, hope <laughs> she's she's laughing at that. So have, you, have you seen the state of her hair and nails? Yeah, I had to cancel her hair appointment so I could buy a new microphone. Elizabeth Harrison, I've got my PPOTE. For cadets coming up soon. This means a police public order team event where we get to play with the riot shields and stat. Oh, that sounds wicked. Can I come? That sounds like a laugh. You and Hay could be far better QA wise, but nice nonetheless. Southern Freight Spot, thank you for joining us. Chris, you're a little bit early with the numbers. Microphone sounds great. That is good news. It's wor worth her missing her haircut for. Right, 50 coming up. We're good for that. Mini with Stanson Junction Angel of Crew. Hi, I'm new to your channel. I like Train Sim World too. I do too. I 
I believe they've got the um, we got the festival. Like I said earlier, we got the Festival of Rail event this weekend, and I believe they're going to talk about the um, future plans for the game and stuff like that. From what I understand. So yeah, quite interested to watch some of the uh, the official streams that are going on with that. Spa weekend for Mumra as compensation? Absolutely not. <laughs> I've got I've got a green screen that I use to do when I do my vlogs and stuff like that. I've got a green screen, but I tried using it on the stream, but my lighting setup isn't quite good enough. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, if I turn the lights off, that's kind of without the lighting, and that's with it on. There's a, there's a big difference on the quality. You see it better on the bigger camera. But I, with the green screen, it's got to be lit evenly in order to kind of get the um, the keying effect. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly. So I need to buy some new lights for the stream. So she's not getting a spa weekend because I need to buy new lights. Got my priorities right. And I want a new monitor for the computer as well. Uh, yeah, the Angel of Crew. Are you playing it on a PC? Yes, I am. George, I really hope we see some Desirees in Train Sim World one day. Yeah, I think um, Southwestern Mainline, Waterloo to Southampton, or would would be a really good one, or even the Portsmouth Directs. I think that would be a really good one. And I think if they then added the four five five into the game, um, you could then use that on the. Southern route as well, the Brighton Main Line, and you could use it on the southwestern. So, that two birds with one stone sort of thing. Right, 0.8 miles from Camborne. Sharky twelve thirteen. Hey, I'll be applying for train driver through. Though the Netherlands, not the UK. Do you have any tips? Um, I don't really know much about the railway in the Netherlands, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. If you're in the Discord, Sharky, we've got um, a gentleman called Alex in there who is a driver in Germany. Uh, he will probably be a lot better person to ask than me. If you're not in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. If you go to the diary section, you'll see Alex, the German driver, uh, and he's really good at answering questions and stuff. He's been doing some comparisons between the UK and German railways. So if you head over to there, I'm sure that he'll uh, be more than happy to help you out. Dorset to Hampshire train spotter. Um, I very rarely do the Who to Eastleys anymore. Um, we used to do those quite a lot, but we have a depot at Who Junction now, so we have dedicated drivers that do that. Uh, but personally, I do prefer the Tunbridge to Southampton run because it's a class four. So it means you can travel at 75 mile an hour. And from where I live, getting to Who Junction is a, a little bit of a nightmare as well, so... Okay, guys, first person to post a number between 1 and 16 gets their box revealed. Off you go. Camborn. That is a stop short. And a rollback. Break. <laughs> No passengers were harmed in the making of this stream. Right, we've got 12. Ian is straight in there with 12. Did you get it first last time, Ian? I can't remember. Anyway, let's play location, locomotive, and livery. And I've got a funny feeling box number 12 is not going to give us very much, but we'll reveal it anyway. Ah, it's just more train. It's just more train. We need those outside ones. We do need those outside ones. How much further on the route have we got to go? I'm going to give you one for free. I'm going to give you that one for free. <laughs> That's a bit, it's a bit of sky there. It's a bit of sky. I'll give you this one for free as well. Ah, oh, you got some trees. Right. Does that help? Does that help? Right, we've got another station in 3.6 miles. Let's get you speculating in the chat again. Off we go. I'm sure I shouldn't be going straight to power notch 7. I think it's power notch 3 to pull away and then rack it up slowly. Yeah, red roof in 3.5 miles. Uh, we will do the big reveal then. Certainly, certainly going to have to make these harder. 
Someone do eight next. There we go, she looks lovely. Right, what are we doing speed wise? 70 coming up, we've got uh, 2.9 miles to go. Let's jump over to Discord, see what you lovely people have been posting. Uh, that's pretty much as it was by the looks of it. Nice 66 down at Eastleigh on the bottom left there. And George posting smashed up desires. I've always wondered why they put the hazard tape over it. I mean, is that really gonna stop the window falling out? It's, I mean, they're shatterproof windows anyway, so they're, they're not going to shatter. I'm sure the tape really...